Hi everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. It is a haul video, mostly Tim Holtz. <clears throat> if you've been to my channel before, thanks for stopping back in. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll take a moment to click the subscribe and the notification bell so you'll never miss anything that goes on in here. And there's a wide variety of stuff that I play with, so you're not going to want to miss. So, when I saw this uh, classic, what they call it, um, retro Halloween, I knew I had to have this die set because they reminded me of the stuff that we used to cut out in grade school. Now, the neat thing about these dies is it looks like that cat is stamped in black on top of the yellow, but it isn't. Let me pull a die out here and show you what these do. Or at least kind of show you what they do. Oh, it's going to get warm in here. So this is going to be a short video. We've had a storm go through and my internet is off until my... It always kicks it out. There's no sense setting it back up until... I mean my air conditioner is out. It doesn't do any good to set it back up until the storms pass. Because it will just keep kicking out. So... What you do is you have two dies for each one of these. Let me see if I can stand up and see what you're seeing. You have an outline die, and then you have a detail die. So your outline die, we're looking at the owl here, is all cut out in a purple. And then they've come back out and cut the owl detail out in black, and then it just nests on top. Just like that. Isn't that cool? You get the two-tone of stamping without having to stamp a thing. So we have our owl. We have our... I know Mr. Bones is in here somewhere. There he is. We have our witch. And I just love her. And then we have our ghost. And the cat, which is the one that really reminded me of grade school. And see, they've even have it set up so that these little details out here will let those whiskers of that cat pop right off your background. And then there's our jack-o'-lantern. That was the first one I had to have. There was no, no discussion. If I didn't get anything else from his Halloween line, this is what I was going to have. So I can't wait to play with this one. So that is the retro Halloween die set. Let's see, where can I set this? Then there was um, bold text Halloween. So I can have both the letters filled out or I can have the negative cut it out of, say, to cut trick or treat out in a small rectangle and have the negative showing through, or from the let the background show through the negative. I'll spit it out here in a minute. <clears throat> they tuck their envelopes funny. <laughs> so here is Happy Halloween. And then we have <clears throat> Feeling Wicked. I put a spell on you. I'm here for the candy, trick or treat. Now see, you'll have all the individual letters or you'll have the negative to work with from your background. And there's Hocus Pocus, Toil and Trouble, Eek, <clears throat> and Boo. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'll be playing with those again, playing with those soon. It is almost Halloween time. Woohoo! Halloween is my favorite holiday. Then I had to get the um, Skulls Texture Fade, and I'll be showing you what Tim suggested we do with this. It's really cool. But my husband collects Skulls and Dragons, so I want to make his birthday card out of this one. Um, but what Tim suggested is you go through and you ink your negative, not the raised, but the flat, more flat, and then when you sandwich them together and run it through, you get a colored background. And I thought that was really cool. So I've been trying that with some of my other dyes. Okay, other Halloween. I got 
this one from Stampers Anonymous. I don't think this was new this year. This is called, uh, doesn't say, oh yeah, um, I did on the invoice, but it's not saying it's on the package. That's not coming out very well. But I loved, good heavens, stampers. <laughs> ah! Okay. I love the stencil. You have like a wallpaper background that is perfect for any of the haunted house kind of things. And then you have the crackle. I love the crackle. I want to try the crackle with the crackle paste and see what kind of dimension I get. And then there was the stamps that go with this. There is, let me see if I can, I guess that's going to be it. Um, we have almost like the blob and lightning and the moon. More blob. We have the haunted house. And then words, something dreadfully wicked. Double, double, toil and trouble. A strange thing happened. Things are not what they seem. Lost in the inky darkness. In the middle of the night. And in the dead of night. Now you could take this and you could write a really cool short story in a junk journal using just this stamp set. You could use this to create your backgrounds, stamp your house, create your scenes, and use the words as your lead in. Yeah, that's coming from the mind of a writer. <laughs> and then I bought uh, the Halloween uh, autoclons, and these are the label stickers. Happy Halloween, October 31st, Trick or Treat, Bewitched, Peculiar, Jack O' Lantern, Hocus Pocus, Curiosities, Lost and Found, Beware, Wicked, Spellbound, Boo, Toxic, Forsaken, Foolish Mortals, Dearly Departed, Haunted, Eek, Spooky, Toil and Trouble, Strange Things, Foreboding, Dead of Night, Lost Souls, Elixirs and Potions, Oddities, Frightful, Regions Beyond, Masquerade, Skulls and Bones, Rest in Peace, Apothecary, and Uninvited Guest, The End. And you could also take these, put them on tags, and put them into pockets in that journal. We also, and there are two sheets of those. And don't forget, don't get rid of your packaging. Packaging from Tim Holtz is like the holy grail of crafting. You've got all kinds of stuff there to work with. I have so much of his Halloween packaging over here in a stamp case that I intend to use once the studio's done and I can sit down and play with all my toys. I'm getting closer. And then the only other two thing I bought was I bought two packages of the tiny lights. I wish I'd have gotten the purple and the green lights, but... The yellow ones are okay, too, and I have I have something in mind for those. And then the only other thing I bought that wasn't Halloween was the Snippets Ephemera Pack. This is the Curator. And this is going to go great with some of the file folders and stuff from Tim Holtz. So that's my Tim Holtz haul. Um, I will be back here on Friday with the Junk Journal. And then I am done for the next two weeks while I finish getting the studio together. My brother-in-law and his wife, which is Rhonda, my downline from Stampin' Up! and one of my dearest friends, she will be, they will be here on the 9th for four days, and they have to sleep in the studio. <clears throat> so after, the, after Friday, there will be no more videos until after their visit, which is going to be somewhere, well, they'll be here for four days, but then Bob will be here for a week and a half, so probably not going to be anything until the end of, uh, end of September. Keep something in mind if you are interested in taking part in a Christmas hop here on YouTube. Brian from B&D Crafts and More and I are putting together a uh, 12 weeks of Christmas hop. You will post a video every Sunday beginning October 5th through to the Sunday before Christmas. Christmas falls on a Sunday, so it would be the Sunday before that. 12 videos, one every Sunday. And if, especially if you are low on subscribers, this is a great way to get some subscribers to your channel because we'll be directing people from all the other channels to your channel and hopefully help gain you some subscribers. So if you're low on subscription on subscribers or you love Christmas and you want to play along, 
drop me a comment in the description box below or email me. My email is in the description box below. And um, tell me you're interested in the Christmas hop. I will see you back here on Friday with a completed flip through of my bee journal and the kit that is going into the shop. And remember, I'm not putting it into the shop until after my premiere folks see it on Friday morning. So probably hit the store around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. So you're going to want to make sure you come back and check that out. In the meantime, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Created blessings.